Frankfurt right away, just for you, man. All right, so, that's good. Cloud9 like versus IG. We heard their predictions. Start off with your predictions. For the series in general? 0-0, zero, zero, five minutes in. Yeah, that, that kill, uh, or sorry, that blink might have actually cost him the kill, where yeah. if he just stays on the other side, he can run him down together with Misery, and of course, you can just Chakra Magic onto Envy to make sure he doesn't run out of mana. So, oh, the Fox is already dropping low. The Frostbite's going to come in. Ferrari stuns him up, but he doesn't have another nuke. One more second, but the Fisher comes in first. No, he gets the SF before he may just die. The Fire Spirits is taking him away, but he's still alive. Meanwhile, Big Daddy No-Tail chasing down Chuan, who does have another Fisher up in just two seconds. The second redemption, never mind. Misery says hello. Makes it even, but it's still favorable for IG, who managed to get the first blood up to push him back, as well as a Fisher. Now Eternal Envy actually jumps forward quite aggressively here. They are going to be able to get a really good Gyrocopter Ultimate on the side. The egg goes off, burning turns to try and address it. Will be able to get it in time. Eternal Envy on the right side. He gets dueled up. The egg explodes, but Luo is taking out Queen of Pain, so the egg doesn't matter. IG... Roach pit right now, and Nuka Relax coming in here. But they, they have the sustain, they have earned charges, bottles, sticks, and of course, press the attack. But all right, they, they willingly went in there with. They think they might have an advance with Luo. Oh, 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 he oh, gets Echo Slammed immediately. There goes the ultimate stun up, Misery. They're going to now try and chase down No Tail as well. Luo, he doesn't have a duel for another 10 seconds, so we won't be able to stop No Tail just yet, but it doesn't look like it matters. Ferrari on the other side gets the stun, and two kills turns into another two as they attempt to do Roshan. And uh, Cloud9 just not letting that one go end up feeding away a more. Don't stop Roshan at all, as Burning manages to take the Aegis solo now. They basically... So what happened? Once you drop low, but below 20% with Guardian Greaves as well. I mean, it's an insane amount of defense. Uh, I do also want to point out that this uh, potentially defensive Solar Crest play put on the Gyrocopter is going to be the stacked evasion, which is a uh, change they up. found Luo. Yes, they did. Scotty just slowing down, and Luo is going to be going down the double damage of Fada. Just too great. And this time around, Cloud9, when they find a pickoff, they make damn sure they're going to be able to take that tier 2 tower. So it goes down, but look what IG are doing in return. They've already pretty much taken Roshan. They're going to have to TP back to defend Tier 3, but I can't imagine Cloud9 Brian doesn't have one. He has to run the whole way, but I, I still think they're going to rip 1,000. But when you look at all the stuff they can put on him from their allies, yeah. this is a 30k carry you're looking at right here. 30k MMR. And that Aegis is still up for another two minutes. Cloud9 have to play. They have to go in. There, sure enough, there goes the Echo Slam. They're going to try and burn this Aegis as soon as possible. Burn it just doesn't care. He pops the BKB. Satanic, and now he's healing back up the full with Fodacon as well. This kill score evens up, but IG are perfectly set to just win the whole entire game with this push. That is going to have to be two buybacks coming out from Cloud9. I don't think they can hold either of them. They can try yeah. to hold Shaker for 30, but they're going to need the Fisher to put any sort of pressure out in the fight. And there we go. There's the buyback from No-Tail. They want to conceal the one from Fata being available and maybe get a fight. But they haven't even scratched Burning, and they used a lot of key abilities. This is like... This is just over. They can't touch him. Yeah, they really can. Eternal Envy's going to be stunned up now by Ferrari with a blink dagger. Trying to hold him still. Luo comes in and will be able to get the right clicks necessary. Now an egg laid out. They're going to try and fight around that one desperately, but the egg can't afford to go down. It looks like Burning is not going to get it. The egg stuns them both. And now Burning oh, wow. falls. Right. This is going to be perfect. They're going to kill Burning a secondary time here. He does not have the BKB. Easily controlled. And Cloud9, just like that, are back in the game. I really did not think they would be able to pull that off. What a defense. It did, the impetus is really on them to try and end it, right? Because they're getting a gyrocopter who's uh, pretty much maxed out, can't really get too many items after this. They kind of want to end the game before Cloud9 can start playing him first. And he's got Butterfly, he's got the Satanic, BKB, the, uh, the upgrade. That's the an solar blink envy. That is really, really aggressive. Yeah, it looks like he's just wanting to try and blow his buyback here, but Fonny's been jumped in the background. Ferrari wants to kill him first, and it looks like Burning completely agrees. The duel goes on to Eternal Envy. He's down, instant buyback. Fada is in some trouble, still being slowed down by Ferrari. Echo Slam on both the cores. Now with the Fisher potentially going out, no tail blocks in Burning, but he just doesn't seem to carry. Fights away with the Satanic. He's keeping himself alive through all of this. He will go down eventually, but it's just the ages. Can they still turn this one? IG, ready for the reinitiation. They're going to come in and try and save Burning. Behind enemy lines, Ferrari, the first one for him. Eats his chief, gets the stun on Fada. Now Burning trying to help him out. The SF is dropping low. He does manage to get away. The Icarus, there it is. The egg saved the Agonyms, but they're going to try and kill the egg. It's about to drop. The stun's going to go off, and they did it. They saved Fada to get the stun. Now IG are all low. This could be a total wide. Burning, fighting in the middle of everyone. He gets three, but the 
Thompson hit the fade arch is too much to handle. It's only Luo to survive as he blinks himself away. He claims the melee racks as his bounty, but it's a big win for Cloud. Are they going to be picked off and essentially maybe even lose the whole that entire game based on the fact that they attack. don't have that extra life anymore? They're going to start out with this tier 3 tower bottom that lane. It is the lowest. The rest of IG, well, you have the Crystal Maiden up now. Dragonite in 10 seconds. It feels like it might only be the Gyrocopter who's forced into a buyback if Cloud9 forced this one. Luo is taking a bit of damage there as Cloud9 now focused on the melee racks at bottom. But here comes the initiation. Chuan moving forward. Misery's already dead. The rest of Cloud9 are just looking to escape. But Bone 7's not going to get out either. Two picked off, maybe a third. Fada forced into the BKB, does not have a TP out. And Chuan's just going to be able to run right there with him. Gets the Frostbite, and now he's just kiting around. Well, the rest of his team is looking to be able to catch Fada. Oh, they have the buyback on Misery. Can he actually get a recall here? Fada's going to be able to get off the ultimate. Hits on three or four, but it's too late. He's already surrounded. There's no way there's a recall play. And sure enough, IT strike back hard, taking away the SF. He's down for 100. 52 minutes in. After we talked about it, he replaced his uh, his cloak for it. What was that? Minute 25? Or mm -hmm. So he's used it twice in, in the span of almost half an hour. And He's still looking very strong. Oh, they they no tail. He is screwed, I think. Yeah, there's the attempted save. Oh, no, the Supernova didn't actually save him. I think he tried to grab a Big Daddy No Tail. But unfortunately, that Supernova doesn't snag him, and it's going to be kind of fruitless here. In fact, that Hunter Seconds that it's down, IG, they may just choose to try and push in as they've just got another one. Back before this, he can't afford to die. Luo, he has the opportunity to blink forward soon. Chuan's going to hold him. Misery is going to be going down here. Looks like no saves from Cloud9. Two supports down, and it's left dust up to the cores now to be able to defend the base. And they have a three-on-five situation. No buybacks on either Shaker or Coddle. 25 seconds on no-tail, though. They might be able to hold at least one of the barracks until then, but maybe not. There is the glyph. It's buying them a couple of seconds, but... Well, let's note that also the... going to be Megas before Bone 7 is out, or sorry, before uh, no-tail is out. Yeah, the range racks are already down bottom as well as middle. And they're already focusing on that melee racks. Bottom jumps forward, but he's instantly stunned up. They just continue to go for the building. In fact, burning, he's even committing all the way. He may just be forced into BKB, though. Force staff gets him out. IG will start getting themselves out of here. They claimed one of the buildings there. Nice defensive call down. Very well placed. Oh, but another grab to Blink for No tail. He has to pick Echo Sam, but is it going to be enough? Final includes the ultimate, but it's not enough to kill anybody just yet. Burning is being brought lower and lower, but the Shadow Grave is there. And now Fada is going to be the one who dies instead. IG, they take down one, two, three, and there it is. They're able to push uphill, and all that's left is the SF buyback. And there's no way that's going to be enough to defend that last range Rex. That, uh, that blink from Envy was just straight up suicidal. I think he was just trying to set up and bait them into an Echo Slime, which he managed to do decently. Yep. But it just wasn't enough damage. And now Fata is going to look at his last barracks falling. It's all and over for the be game one. Oh, there's the Supernova save. Nice play. But it looks like IG will be able to kill that egg before it explodes. And that means they both end up falling. There it is. GG from Cloud9. They fought to the bitter end. And it was coming down to that mid-game where IG almost like kind of lost control there. They had been evened up in the net worth, but then they managed to get hold of the game again, and Cloud9 still fought for the late game. Unfortunately, IG, really good team fights pushing uphill in particular. I mean, you said how dangerous it was to go uphill against the swarm of abilities that Cloud9 had.